Hi friends, in this video I'm gonna be balding in the Thundering Fury domain because I wanna build Kaching. Now, because Kaching Aggravate isn't nearly as strong without a decent facial, I'm gonna be trying to amp up her damage as well. I hope you enjoy watching me suffer through the RNG artifacts log because at the end of the video we're gonna be running her fully built in the Spiral Abyss and we'll see if we can get those coveted 36 stars. So sit back, relax and we'll just jump right into it. So right now she's level 90, she's on a level 70 alliance Roy R1 and her artifacts are complete dookie. She's on a Dendro Goblet, this is just unacceptable. She's C0, her talents are decent. I've been working on these because we have the overflowing mastery event, but I definitely want at least 989. The artifacts are definitely the biggest issue here, and we, we do want to fix these as soon as we can. And as for Fischl, she is on Golden Troop, but the actual artifact stats are not that great. Level 90 Stringless, R3, this is a great weapon for her. She's C1, her talents are pretty doo-doo, so we do want to level this skill, because this skill is basically the only talent that she cares about. We want to get it to at least like 8 or 9. I think that's a pretty good benchmark, and um, that's the plan. As for the team, I think you can run, you can probably do like Kirara here, and that would be fine, but since I pulled Nahida not long ago, I'm gonna be using Nahida, and obviously Kaching and Fischl walk hand in hand. But the fourth slot is probably the biggest question mark, because I don't have Kazuha, and because I don't have Kazuha, we're basically just gonna be running any Anemo here. I guess you can, you can use Sucrose as like a, a budget version of Kazuha. But right now I'm using Cloud Retainer just for, just because the overworld exploration aspect is, is so strong. And I, I like having the healing. However, Kazuha should be on banner in like 20 days from now or something. I'm going to be trying to get him like for sure. But I am on a 50-50 so it, it's up to the, the Hoyo vs. Gods to let me win that 50-50 and actually slot Kazuha here. So until then, it's just going to be any Enemo support. I don't... I don't think you need Kazuha to make this team work. He definitely helps because he's one of the most broken units in the game. For now, it's going to be Cloud Retainer. I believe it's time for the first TF run of the whole video. So, let's make our way there. Hopefully we can get some luck. Um, ultimately, it's up to the gods to decide how we're going to end this challenge and if we can even 36 star the Abyss. But the whole point is to make our Kaching as strong as possible. So. The only way to do that is to farm the artifact, so here we are. Let's send it. Midsummer Courtyard. I think this is one of the older domains in the game. And you can tell quite easily because the mobs are freaking slimes and you can uh, you can see how the mobs are all spread out. You know, all the all the newer domains, the mobs are not spread out whatsoever and it's very easy to um, very easy to group them up and kill them. Like you can see these mages are just all spread apart, which is frustrating. Okay, let's see the first artifact of the video. Are we gonna get lucky? Let's see. Okay, we have a feather. It, it's not even that bad. This is terrible. Okay, I, I mean, I'll take that, man. This is way better than not having an onset feather. <laughs> Crit damage, circlet, attack sand. I mean, the thing is, I don't have a sand, so unironically, I'm gonna lock the purple. We might get double crit on it, and it might be better than whatever level 20 5-star artifact we can have. Let's just see what this sands rolls, okay? Let's see what happens with it. Ah, uh, I don't know. Is that really gonna be worth it? I don't think it is. Maybe? Definitely not. I think if you're gonna be using a 4-star artifact, it better be, like, absolutely just perfect. And I have this from, like, ages ago. I don't know. It doesn't have any crit on it, and the crit is... The crit damage, specifically, is what we need. But this feather... Sorry, this flower, this is okay. This is not terrible. And the feather we just got is here. This is... These are almost the same artifact, except this one has crit damage and this one is crit rate. So let's just level this to 4 and see what happens. Crit rate, crit rate. It's flat defense, because of course it's flat defense. We go again. Oh, that's some good coffee. So we're gonna send this fragile resin. We have 5, so 300. Back into the mines, back into the trenches. I love Hyperbloom, it's so chill. It's just the most relaxed thing. Please be something good. Another feather, it, but it's terrible. We have a defense sand. Okay, holy fuck, man. I love this graphic. This is such a beautiful looking item. 
Does anyone else feel like that sometimes? So you have like these amazing looking artifacts, but they're not best in slot for the characters that you want to use them for. So it feels a little bad. Like um, retracing Bolide for Yoimiya is, is such a... It's, it's like the perfect fit, but obviously like you're not going to be using that because it's a damage reduction artifact set. And I guess Shimanawa is also... It doesn't look bad on Yoimiya, but it's not quite as aesthetic as retracing Bolide is. Number three. Okay, we have a we have a flower, and it's terrible. And we have a defense sans, and it's terrible. We go again. It's just the essence of artifact farming. You just gotta embrace it. Run number four. What do we have? Three pieces. Okay, this could be good. This could be good. Yes, we take the HP. <laughs> Holy fuck. Just imagine, who's gonna use this? Maybe like Yale on down the road? I don't have her yet, but I think I'm gonna pull her at some point. I'm just gonna keep this piece around because it, it looks pretty good. So we have an attack circle that is just not very good. I'm happy with this flower though. This this is, this doesn't look bad. Run number five. There you are, eavesdropper. Tell me, I am not eavesdropping. I just want your artifact. The sooner you give me those, the sooner I'll be out of your business. Because frankly, I don't really want to spend a lot of time in this domain. It's not very efficient to farm, but we gotta do it for the catching. We gotta do it for the queen, you know? So let's see, what is this? Run number five. Please, something nice. No, it's the wrong set. I don't know if it would be more efficient for me to farm Golden Troop and then just Strongbox, um, Strongbox Defendering Fury. I, I just feel like our Kaching at a baseline right now is so weak that we just want some form of set on her. And the fastest way to get that is to farm Thundering Fury and to also strongbox it at the same time. Our official is not that terrible. It's a goblet. If this is Electro, I'm gonna be so happy. I mean, obviously it's not. Crit rate circlet with crit damage. No, it's not. Yo! Holy shit! That's a fucking feather and we're gonna take that. That's amazing. Oh. I think those are min rolls, but we're still gonna take that. That's 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 our best piece yet. What is this run number eight or nine? I've lost count. But this is an attack sand with double crit. It's an EM sand. So the interesting thing is that Kiching actually uses both EM and attack, and they're basically equal in power. So this is not terrible. It's just the subs are pretty bad. But if we can get something like crit damage here, then this is a usable piece, I think. We're gonna lock that. What's this? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna beat the previous. Okay, another run complete. That was a little bit slower because we're using Kaching. It's not really efficient to bring Electro into this domain, but let's see what we get. Huge sand. This is the biggest sands of my life. Oh, okay, that is the biggest sands of my life. What the fuck is happening? Okay, now we just gotta hope that that sands doesn't brick. I'm, I'm hoping that it rolls like EM. That would be ideal. EM or attack percent. Please, I am begging. EM. Okay, I mean, Kaching doesn't really need ER because she has like 40 energy cost, but this is still better than defense percent or HP percent. Yeah, I think, I think we're just gonna send this because this is a terrible flower. Please. Oh, I mean, it's not amazing, but it's a sand. That's what, that's all that matters. We have one of the most difficult pieces out of the way, and this is going to go straight into crit damage. Oh my god, it's five defense. I'm still keeping this, even though this is, this is such a Genshin Impact piece. Like, we, we got this amazing start, and then it all just fizzled down into flat defense, like a fucking wet noodle. Let's go. Huge. So let's just take stock of what we have so far. We have the attack goblet with mid stats, to be honest. It's not very good, and I'm probably just going to leave it at 16 because we're hunting for the electro goblet. The, the sand is just a flat defense bonanza, but, you know, I'm just going to deal with this. I don't think we're going to get a better onset sand in this video, unfortunately. The feather, pretty decent, pretty all right. And the flower that, I, that we're using is uh, probably could use some work, but... 
We're gonna see if we get any more flowers. I'm, I'm sure we can get one with double crit line. Like it's not that difficult. And this is the off piece that I'm using right now. This piece here is definitely better. It already like even at level nine, it has more crit value. So. Once I level this to 20, I'm probably going to swap these around. And that's our ka so far. This level 70 weapon needs to get fixed, so... Let's see what happens. Wrong set. Unlucky. Yeah, the Dialog Vape goes so crazy. Like, actually. Dude, I love Cloud Retainer. She actually just made this character, like, so nice. And he's not even remotely built. Let us see what happens. This is the Electro Goblet of my dreams. Oh, it's not the- it's not. What is happening? God damn, we love to see some EM. So I just got this sands from the strong box and I'm gonna level it to four. Just to see if we get that crit damage at the end. Would be so nice. Okay, this sands actually has potential to be better than the one we got before. So let's just send it to let's just send it to at least 16 and see what happened. Crit rate, okay, we take that. Crit damage. Crit damage? We take that. Okay, I think I'm out. We can just put that in. So, crit damage. Crit damage. This is so nice. I'm so happy with this piece. Okay, I mean, it's already way better than the one we have. This is so good. Okay, I'm, I'm saluting in real life. Crit damage. Oh, I just had to fucking sniff the flat health. But it's still great. I'm still using this. This is good. Electro Goblet, perhaps? No, sir. Let's see then. Electro Gob? Okay. It is an Electro Goblet, but it is. Like, these stats are absolutely abysmal. It's still an onset Electro Goblet, so. Unfortunately, that is something we need to uh, we need to keep around. Right, so here's the thing. I have finished farming the Thundering Fury domain for the time being. Kaching is on her set. Her stats are uh, her stats are pretty good. I think uh, she needs a little bit more crit rate, but that's that's something that I can probably just fix in time and just get it sorted. But as it stands, I think she's more or less complete. She's level 90, her weapon's 90, her artifacts are fine. She is... Uh, these talents are something I'm still looking to level, but right now they're not, they're not the main priority. Because I want to fix up Fischl. So the plan right now is to get her to 90 and then level this to 9 and farm golden troop and once we have some better golden troop pieces i'm gonna be strong boxing further uh, thundering fury pieces and that will do it i think at that point we can go into the abyss and we can actually get get some attempts in and see if we can clear now i also want to talk about the current abyss because we have so the current abyss has the ruin serpent and the weena on the second half i was already actually poking around with uh, with kaching and I three-starred chamber three. It was basically free. I had like 15 seconds remaining, but chamber one and chamber two are really difficult right now for this team. And I think it's because, you know, essentially it's just Fischl who is sucking chode. So that is going to get fixed. By the time I'm gonna have Fischl at 90 and, uh, and on some better golden troop pieces, uh, the abyss will have changed and the Wiener's not gonna be there anymore. So I'm gonna have to see how that works out. I have absolutely no idea what the next, uh, what the next mobs will be in the abyss, but that's the plan for now. Gonna be farming the Electro Hypostasis once more. Return to our roots. I've been doing this boss like, like my whole life, my whole career on this video game, and we're going back there again. And once that's complete, we're gonna be going to the Golden Troop domain, and we will be getting better pieces for Fischl. Because right now, she is on some major cope, and, uh, and that's gonna get fixed. So that's the plan for now. 
I will see you once Fischl is 90. And 90. So, I need 8 purple books for Fischl, I think. I'm just gonna get on with it right now. Yeah, we need 8 of these. I'm doing all these domains with Ayaka right now, because I want to max out her friendship. Wait, hold on. I think this might be terrible. Yeah, these are frost, but okay. Just hope Zhongling carries here. Okay, yeah, well, we definitely need to switch teams. That was abysmal. The, the monster domains for weapons and talents are the most annoying things. Okay, swapping teams. Let me leave you, a verse. you have no stamina. And there's that one weapon domain where, you, where your skill cooldowns are like 200% higher. That, that is literally the definition of anti-fun. Come on, let me go. Jesus Christ, this place. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Come on. Like, this is genuinely more annoying than this. Okay, we're done. Beautiful. I'm gonna be real, I don't want to be there ever again. If you find me in that domain, just take me out back. Actually though. That's disgusting. 12 books. 12 books for Fischl. And BAM! Golden Troop time! Let's get it. Sweet! Run number one. Yeah, this is all ass. I have, in fact, been in this domain quite a few times before. Because I started playing the game on the Farina banner, and obviously this is Farina's best uh, best set by a landslide, so I have spent a fair share of present in here. No? No? Mmm, that is, that is pretty cope. Also pretty cope. Got a few more runs left in the tank. Defense, ER. Does anyone on this set actually use ER? I don't know. I Whatever. I have enough ER sands on my account, to be honest. Like, worst case scenario, I steal items. Final run of the day! This is the biggest attack sands that I've ever seen on this set. <laughs> it is in fact not. It's time to send another condensed huge piece here. Nope. Sand. Oh, it's so bad though. Well, that's nice. That's an EM Gobbler. Not what we're after, but I will save an EM Gobbler. This might be the best EM Gobbler on this whole account. Maybe. I mean, obviously. Flat defense, but you know, we take that. That's still not terrible. <laughs> the, the thing with EM Gobblers is that they are so difficult to come by. Like, for some reason, they are just the rarest type of artifact that there is in this entire game. So, if you're watching this and you get an EM Goblet, just lock that shit instantly. It is probably going to be useful on somebody because you're going to run into a situation where you need an EM Goblet and then you just don't have any, any laying around anywhere because you've just foddered the shit stats and uh, used them in the strong box. Run, meet later. The wrong set again. Nope. No. So, I'm in front of the Golden Troop domain right now. It's 4.5 and the Abyss just reset. And what an Abyss it is, okay? So, here's the thing. I've been 
I've probably spent more resin here at the Golden Troop Domain for Fischl than I did for Kaching at the start of this video. And I have not gotten a single upgrade. That's how bad it's been. And to top it all off, the abyss that we have this time around, okay, let's let's just go take a look here real quick. You remember that clip where I was talking about how I have no idea what mobs are gonna be in the abyss? Well, it turns out this is the hardest abyss that's been in Fontaine. And um, not even my main team, my uh, my Rider National and my Hyper Bruin, they, they can't 36 star. And I'll be the first to admit that my account is pretty new. I started playing like five months ago. So um, <laughs> I feel like I was a little bit in over my head thinking that I would clear that place with Kaching because it's, it's not gonna happen. If my main teams can't do it and I'm at the Golden Troop Domain for weeks, just trying and coping for official upgrades, then this video would never come out. So I'm gonna cut you a deal, okay? What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go into the Abyss with Kaching. I'm gonna use this team, uh, unfortunately still using Cloud Retainer, but Kazuha is coming soon, Copium. And yeah, we're gonna at least try and two-star every chamber with Kaching. So, that's coming up next. It just sucks that I spent so much resin for essentially nothing on Fischl. What what I did manage to get here is uh, this uh, this feather. Hold on, now this isn't the is, is this the old feather? I can't remember. But basically, I got some uh, I got a little bit of attack. I, I just got some attack. So that's the only upgrade from the entire time farming that domain, uh, and that sucks because our Kaching literally got like zero to heroed. So. So that's where we're at. So, we're gonna go in, we're gonna see what happens, and we're gonna try our best. Uh, I don't have high hopes for this, but that's the plan right now. It is, uh, it's time to get serious.
I hope you enjoyed the video. The next one will be on Causal Hot.